Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happens to the YouTube channel. Indeed, um, today's PEPT hearing started quite late. The judges arrived pretty late and the proceedings are started very late. But as we speak, remember we had a pending cross-examination from yesterday's proceedings based on the fact that they were served notice quite late. I'm talking about INEC uh, cross-examination on Peter Obis, um witnesses. But as we speak, there's a star witness already present in court today for Peter Obi. Remember, they're all trying to get all their best hands. I guess they're keeping the best for the last. Well, of course, uh, the council representation is done. Dr. Levi Ozoku is still the lead uh, counsel for the Labour Party. And the witness that was stepped, that was stepped down yesterday, Chibuike Uboke, that's the witness number eight has been called up for cross-examination. And of course, A.B. Mahmoud for INEC continues the cross-examination of the witness. Chibuike Uboke is a cybersecurity expert, and um, it begins this way. A.B. Mahmoud for INEC starts, asks, um, when were you in, 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 instructed, I, tell, I take that again, when were you instructed by Labour Party to do this? Uh, the witness said, March 10, I finished the report by middle of May. The lawyer asks, before you started, you read the petition and, rep and replies of the parties? A witness said, I, I can't recall. The lawyer asks, you concluded your work before you read the petition and reply? The witness said, I read it during the middle of the work. The lawyer asks, in paragraph 18 of your witness statement, under oath, in reaching your conclusion, you didn't speak to anyone in INEC? The witness said, I didn't. The lawyer asked, um, you are an experienced cybersecurity expert? The witness said yes. Um, the lawyer asked, I will also say that because of that, you will be familiar with cybersecurity space in the country. The uh, witness said, depends on it, on, depends on if it is important. The lawyer said, in paragraph 9 of your witness statement on oath, you talked about ISO 2701. That certification is not a statutory requirement for organizations like INEC. Witness said it is a statutory requirement. The lawyer asked, under what law? The witness said, under NIDDA Act. The lawyer asked, do you know what section of the law? Witness said, I don't know. The lawyer asked again, um, in paragraph 19, you talked about testing an application before it is deployed. I suggest to you that errors could be discovered at the point of testing the application. Witness said, yes. The lawyer said, and sometimes some errors can come after setting up the of the setting up of the application. Witness said, that's incorrect. Errors arrive at testing. After deployment, the possibility is negligible, very slim. Lawyer asked, can it arise? Witness said, it is impossible. The lawyer said, in paragraph 22 to 23, you refer to metadata as regards the IRF portal in relation to three polling units. You suggested that there were errors. Witness said, no, I provided facts. The lawyer said, did you examine the physical EC8A? Witness said, I didn't have to. The lawyer asked again, you cannot tell if the results of the three polling units were properly collated. Witness said, I cannot assert that. The lawyer asked, all you did was on your computer? Witness said, yes. The lawyer asked again, familiar with AWS? Witness said, the AWS security model is a shared responsibility model between AWS and its clients. That means AWS guarantees the security of its infrastructure. AWS has three components, confidentiality, availability, and infrastructure. He now gives him a document. The lawyer said, anything about electronic collision system, maybe PCA2? Witness said, yes, it is inferred. The lawyer said, my lord, I will rest at this point. INEC rested their case, and um, Olani Kwekun Wale, which is son for, um, decided to cross-examine. Uh, now, it started by, uh, in paragraph 15 to 18 of your witness statement on oath, you have re you have reproduced what INEC gave in its reply to the petition. Was it part of your brief to do a reply to INEC's brief? Witness said, that conversation never happened. Uh, the lawyer asked, did you inspect any of the BVS, BVAS? Witness said, no, I didn't. The lawyer asked, did you interrogate Festus Okoyo, who you referred to? Witness said no. The lawyer asked, in paragraph 23 of your report, you referred to an, a local government in Baoji. Are you aware PDP won in that local government area? Witness said, not aware.
in lawyer acts in paragraph 24 we refer to another local government in anambra do you know labor party won that local government area and won in the state with about 95 percent of votes cast witness that i am not aware the lawyer asks you have made reference to meta data can you tell us the meaning witness said the info that describes the actual data the lawyer asked, the info you put in this document you scripted it witness said yes uh, the lawyer asks, do you expect the court to assess the link? Witness said, no. Lawyer asks, in your witness statement on oath, you refer to Bauchi, Anambra, and Rivers. Witness said, yes. Lawyer asks, can you check pages 8 to 11 of your metadata submission? They refer to Benue, which you didn't put in your also. Witness said, it reads Benue. Witness, uh, lawyer asks, you refer to local government in Benue, Labour Party 1. With 117 votes and APC scored zero, witness said, "I am not aware. It doesn't touch on my expertise." Expertise. Then the lawyer asked, "My lord, I will rest here." Now, um, the fourth respondent lawyer decided to cross-examine, which is Fagbem Isan for APC. He said, uh, "There's always an agreement between AWS and its customers." Witness said, "Service level agreement." The lawyer asks, this agreement contains details of the terms and security features, among others. Witness said, yes. The lawyer asks, the agreement on securities are only known to the parties. Witness said, incorrect. The, labor pass, uh, the, witness asks, uh, the lawyer asks again, the agreement is known only to the parties. Witness said, it is public. The lawyer asks, you attach your polling unit results to your witness statement on oath. Witness said, yes. The lawyer asks, how many of you, how many of you were involved? Witness said, just me. Uh, the lawyer asked, this to PU plus polling unit result, none was original for EC8A. We downloaded the result from RF. Witness said, yes, RF. The lawyer asked, you didn't interact with any of the presiding officers. Witness said, no, I didn't. The lawyer asked, you didn't see hard copy of from EC8A. Witness said, I didn't. The lawyer asked again, when did you discover the image was uploaded incorrectly? Witness said, I don't know. The lawyer asked, who uploaded it? Witness said, it came from Beavers. The lawyer asked, found out the correct result from that unit? Witness said, no. The lawyer asked, you, you also didn't interrogate INEC on that result? Witness said, I didn't. The lawyer asked, did you ask Labour Party for the actual result? Witness said, no. The lawyer asked, you have to have results only? Witness said, yeah, but I can explain everything. Of course, all the technicality they tried to draw out, she okay, he refused. He kept on using words like, that's incorrect, it never happened, no, I provided facts. So indeed, he was quite firm that he, that he just refused to be dragged on that corner. Of course, Pinokwato has called up another witness, the 11th one so far, and the Pin still have a permission to call the next witness on subpoena, that's Barrister Emmanuel Edit, which is actually the uh, witness 11, which is the head of service NITDA. Witness steps up and swears with the Bible. Remember, we still have remember we still have our star witness, so there's still a lot of um, argument going on at the background. Let's wrap this particular episode up. We'll give you updates as soon as uh, the witness was examined.